People only keep themselves busy to avoid boredom. Everybody complains that they're so busy they haven't got any time. But why are they so busy? It's only their illusions that keep them busy. A person who practices Zazen has time. When you practice Zazen, you have more time than anyone else in the world. If you aren't careful, you'll start making a big fuss just to feed yourself. You're constantly in a hurry. But why? Just to feed yourself. Chickens too are in a hurry when they peck at their food. But why? Only to be eaten by humans. How many illusions does a person create in their lifetime? It's impossible to calculate. Day in, day out. I want this. I want that. A single stroll in the park is accompanied by 50,000 to 100,000 illusions. So that's what it means to be busy. I want to be with you. I want to come home. I want to see you. People are constantly out of breath from running so quickly after their illusions. You want to reach nirvana to be liberated from your present life. It is exact, exactly that attitude which is called transmigration. The, de the development of transportation has made the world smaller. Now we race around in cars. But where to, anyway? To the arcade. We step on the gas just to kill time. Some people spend the night playing mahjong only to swallow a handful of vitamins the next morning and hurry to work with swollen eyes. The world is in a constant state of agitation. What can you do when faced with ordinary people besides shrug your shoulders in resignation? In old koans you often hear, where do you come from? Here they're not asking for a place. Where do we all come from? Some desire sex. They come from sexual desire. Those who are greedy for money come from greed. Please give me a reference. A person who says this comes from the desire for career and fame. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I haven't got any time. This is how some people go completely crazy. What, what should they do? The best thing would be to do nothing at all. They've just got to calm down. <coughs> Not carrying out any human activity. That's Zazen. Big businessmen and politicians complain that they're so busy, but at the same time they take their chances with two or three lovers. The question is simply, what is important to us? There's no end to running away. There's no end to running after. In this moment, we practice Zazen without complaints. Nothing is more precious than a life lived out of the full lotus posture. Drifting in the worlds is like clouds drifting in non-mind. It isn't a matter of floating more quickly. Everything moves in non-mind. Everything depends on interdependent origina origination. There is no substance. It's the same with clouds. It's not that they exist, but they also do not exist. Do not not exist. And at the same time, they do exist and they do not exist. And now everybody's cracking their heads over that. When the fl floating world is seen by Zazen, this enriches the Buddha Dharma and your life. Your, your life will never be enriched through struggling to get by in this floating world. Okay. So, <clears throat> in this chapter, <clears throat> I want to talk about um, why is it that we're always so busy? Um, is it because we're looking to the future the whole time? And what is actually important to us, as Kodo says? Um, so as I spoke about in the last chapter, um, you know, for society standards, what is good for nothing is a waste of time. Is a waste of time. If we do something that is really worth our time, we should do what we want to do. But the road to actually acquiring that chunk of time, which we think is truly valuable, is a long one. Uh, I think you know we probably spend about ninety percent of our time working in order to get that. Um, and it's, you know, only really a small piece in comparison. So in the end, we feel like we have no time at all. Um, there was this story that um, Kodo used to tell, and he basically said, there was a village where people were so lazy that they were in sh extreme poverty. A person came to the village and tried to teach them that they should work hard for a better life. The villagers asked, what's the point of working hard? The person answered, so you can make money and become rich. The villagers asked, what's the point of being rich? The person replied, if you have a lot of money, 
you won't need to work. The villagers said, but that's what we do now. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, I think uh, while this story is, is very humorous, obviously, you know, the answer to working less and enjoying more isn't just to do nothing. But, you know, what's highlighted here is that, you know, we should really question uh, why we are busying our lives so much. Um, you know, what is this sort of working, uh, you know, 90% of the time and having no time, you know, what is this all about? Um, and as, as Kodo, you know, describes in this chapter, you know, as the world becomes more, <clears throat> more and more advanced, um, <coughs> everything is becoming more convenient. Uh, you know, it takes less time to get where we want to, and work ex itself, due to various technologies, um, is becoming easier and easier. So, as a result, uh, we actually are, you know, starting to have a bit more time for ourselves than before, perhaps. Um, but regardless of this, our lives have become even busier. And I think the reason for this is that we expect more and more from our time, because, you know, we're used to things going, getting faster and faster. So, you know, our expectations are also becoming bigger uh, in terms of, you know, what we want to do with our time. So while the world has sped up, um, you know, we've also become more busy. So as Kodo says, the world is in a constant state of agitation. So I think, you know, as we, you know, rush around more and more, we're just sort of getting more and more stressed out. Uh, and as a result of all this progression, um, I think our concept of time is becoming, you know, more and more abstract. So essentially, there'll never be enough time to do what, our, what we want because, um, you know, our desires are increasing and really they're endless. So as Kodo says, how many illusions does a person create in their lifetime? It's impossible to calculate. Day in, day out, I want this. <clears throat> I want that. A single stroll in the park is accompanied by 50,000 to 100,000 illusions. So that's what it means to be busy. People are constantly out of breath, running after their illusions. <clears throat> so, personally, um, I'm you know a complete sucker for this uh, idea of you know never having any time, because um, I do this thing basically where I'm constantly stacking up all the things I want to do. Uh, you might notice uh, when I'm tenzo that I'm rushing around like a maniac when I've got two hours before the meal. It's because I've got this kind of like way of thinking where I always want to have everything under my control. I want to plan everything and everything has to go to plan. You know, it's kind of like this sort of OCD type thing. You know, everything has to fit. And, you know, when it doesn't, I get completely stressed out. And, um, you know, it, it, as a result, it means I'm very sort of uh, unflexible and rigid person because I always have these expectations of how things want to go. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, as a result, I just get myself all worked up over nothing. Um, and I think, you know, even, you know, doing this, you know, say if you're cooking or something and you're planning all these things, or even now when I'm reading or when I was listening to Ekasan, uh, you know, well, not listening to her, when she was reading in Japanese, I was really planning the th next things I'm going to say, or even thinking about my Rinko afterwards. <laughs> Uh, you know, you think you're kind of making good use of your time, but really, you know, you're, you're just completely absent from what's right in front of you. Um, you know, you think all this planning is good, but you're not really, you know, just being in the present moment. Um, and, you know, as Kodo says, uh, you know, this, this type of thinking is just illusions. And as, as Kodo says, you know, the, our illusions come thick and thin, you know, there's, they come by the tens of thousands. Um, as he also says in this chapter, <clears throat> there's no end to running away. There's no end to running after. So, yeah, in a way, this kind of planning is, you know, you're somehow, you know, you're trying to sort of, uh, well, you're not intentionally, but you're escaping from the present moment. Uh, he says, I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I haven't got any time. This is how some people go completely crazy. They've just got to calm down. Um, yeah, so, you know when I'm going completely bonkers over nothing, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's pointless. It's, it's a waste of time, actually. Uh, you, you waste time just rushing around like this. Um, you're not paying attention to what's right in front of you. Uh, for some reason, you think you have no time, but actually, you know, you, you do have plenty of time. Um, uh, as Dogen said in um, Shobogenza Uji, he basically said that the whole of existence, the whole universe exists in individual moments of time. So, 
in each moment, uh, we really have everything we need right in front of us. Everything that we need to take care of is right there. Uh, the whole universe is, in fact, right in front of us. Uh, you know, there's not something else to be done at some other place um, or other, some other time. And this is why Kodo says, when you practice Zazen, you have more time than anyone else in the world. Um, so you have this, you know, expression that, you know, having the whole time in the world, or I had the whole time in the world, or you've got all the time in the world. Um, you know, and really this, this applies to every moment, I think. But, you know, you can only see this when you stop, uh, you know, kind of trying to plan everything and put everything under your control. Um, and as Dogen also says in this chapter, because Uji basically means existence time. So he says, because time is existence time, it is my existence time. Um, so yeah, really, you know, this idea of, uh, you know, non-separation, this kind of thing. It, it, if you're not separate from the universe, this also applies to time as well. So, you know, no matter what you do, you really have all the time in the world. So there's no need to get so worked up over it. Um, so yeah, that's me for number 18. Uh, does anyone have questions for this part? Okay, and I'll continue to number 23. Nihongo de onogai shimasu.